Hello, I'm John Monty. And I'm Braden Schluter. And today we're going to talk to you about bonds, stocks, and mutual funds. So um, we're going to start off with bonds. The definition of a bond is a fixed income in which an investor loans money to an entity which borrows the funds for a defined period of time at a variable or fixed interest rate. And here is a photo of the, one of the most powerful people on Wall Street, and he specializes in bonds. So um, we're going to take you guys through some pros of bonds. So um, they pay higher interest rates than most bank accounts and money market funds. Um, the price fluctuate less. They can provide a level of income stability, and assigned ratings allow for investors to comprehend the level of risk. And that's really beneficial because, you know, if you're new to investing and stuff, it tells you, like, how risky they are, and it takes you through that. So now we're going to run through some cons of bonds. Um, they have lower long-term return, lower long-term returns in stocks, risk for interest rates to rise and fall, and interest payments are taxed higher than any other investment income. But price fluctuations are not as bad as stocks, and some bonds are tax exempt. And here's an example of a bond certificate. Now, stocks differ from bonds in that uh, stocks are more of ownership in a company, whereas debt, uh, bonds are more of debts. Um, so the basic definition of stock is the capital raised by a business or corporation through the issue and subscription of shares. So when a company goes public, it is basically selling it, uh, part of itself to investors in order to raise money. Uh, these shares, or little pieces of the company, are traded on different stock exchanges. Uh, there are basically two main ways to make money from stocks, and these are capital gains, which is shelling, sh selling shares of a company for more money than was bought, resulting in a profit, and dividends, uh, a share of the profits a company gives back to its investors. So just some of the pros of stocks. Uh, they historically have the highest rate of return of any type of investment. Uh, there are multiple ways to make money from stocks, as, we, as we've talked about, and they're easily diversifiable, and they have a high liquidity, meaning that they're easily turned into cash. Uh, now, just some of the cons of stocks. Uh, they have short-term volatility, meaning prices can fluctuate up and down based on how the market is uh, going. Uh, researching a stock uh, takes time, takes effort. Um, and if a company and investor owns stock and goes bankrupt, the value of the stock zeroes out and the investor loses everything. All right, now we're going to um, switch tables a little bit. We're going to talk to you about mutual funds. and. A mutual fund is an investment program funded by shareholders that trades in diversified holdings and is professionally managed. So putting money into a mutual fund is basically like giving money to a professional to handle your investments. So some pros of these are large amount of diversification because mutual funds can invest in thousands of companies and industries, um, less risk in investing in mutual funds, and it's another really easy investment for inexperienced investors. And diversification, like, we really want to hit that point because that's such a good thing for your investment portfolio. So now we're going to go through cons. Mutual funds can be expensive because of fees. Mutual fund sale prices can be hard to calculate because they are determined once every day, and that can be very hard for free, frequent traders to determine.